I, pl I was planning to stream like NES games for like eight months. So I was like, I'll just see if I can modify my top loader. Sent some guy in North Carolina and got it back six weeks later. It was like $69. No meme intended. But yeah. It was worth it. I've never had any issue getting my game to start, my game cartridge to start after inserting it. Ever. And I tried doing the VCR thing with the RF tables to stream NES games. I just couldn't do it. Like, I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> 69. Now I can, like... When I actually like make noises that go along with the, the background music, I won't look weird because there's there would be no background music before. So when I sing along to it, it actually makes sense. That's what you're supposed to do. Shoot before you jump, then you jump while you shoot. Shoot while you jump, then you shoot while you jump, jump while you shoot. One of those. Exactly, karaoke game music. I really want to take singing lessons so I could actually sound, I guess, more entertaining when I sing some video game music. I actually want to learn how to sing better in general. No, don't hit me. I'm glad I didn't work tonight. I work in a restaurant. There's no way I would have made any tip money. Everyone would have been at home watching the election. Um, I actually want to record my own heavy metal album, where I do almost all the instruments except drums. So I actually legitimately want to learn how to sing, or get better at singing, not just in the shower. Tip worker here. Hey man, I make awesome money, I don't know about you. I'm like a total suck up to my, my table. Two weeks ago I made $750 in tips alone. Ah, what did I do that for? Okay, I made it. Did you really make crazy money? I think it'd be not. It depends, I guess you, you probably work for a better restaurant. I work for Olive Garden, which is hit or miss, based on our location. We're a very religious town in suburbia. Oh, you deliver pizza. Oh yeah. Never mind. I, um... I used to deliver pizza for Papa John's in downtown Orlando. 
And I remember I delivered during, like I delivered for five years until like a year or two ago. And I remember delivering during last selection and I probably made $200. I love delivering pizza. My car didn't love it. Yeah, I would make like a hundred dollars at least every night. But I was a closer. I close the restaurant. I do eight to nine hours. And I work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And Fridays and Saturdays I would walk out with two hundred million, no question. I don't know, I put it, I mean, I also delivered pizza in college before that, so I delivered pizza a total seven years, maybe eight. I put about 65,000 miles on my car just from delivering pizza alone. Maybe, probably more. Probably like 80,000. I don't, I could have probably lasted longer if it, if my, if it, my car didn't get a pickup truck rammed into my car three months before I quit delivering pizza. Totaled my car. I was like, it's kind of... At that point, I was like, maybe it's time to move on. So I kind of... Served for a month and then got fired for stupid reasons. For no reason, actually. And then I stayed unemployed again for a while, and then I started serving again, and serving's awesome. Like, I make a little bit less than delivering pizza. But, um, it's not murder on my car and gas money and tolls, because I had to commute. Downtown Seattle? Really? That sucks, it's not as good. I mean, I got like a buck twenty from every delivery from Papa John's. I don't know if that helps. I don't know what your minimum wage is like over there, though. Like, if you get below minimum wage because you're a tip employee. I know some states still pay the full minimum wage. Because I'm moving to Las Vegas soon. And when I serve there, I'll be making $8.25 instead of $5 an hour as a server. So I'll actually have a paycheck in Vegas. It's, I'm, I was just a really good delivery driver, like I knew the area extremely well. I knew I would make split second decisions if like a certain road was clogged. I would drive circles around the other delivery drivers. Okay, so you actually get a paycheck. And $13 an hour on top of the tips is probably like, really good. I would get $5 an hour. Let's do this. So my paychecks were probably around $50 every week. I want to move to Seattle eventually, like to settle down, have a family. Or California. I just like the law, the local laws they have in the uh, northwestern states, and the weather is beautiful. So I'm gonna take a big risk in terms of trying to save time. Yeah, I heard traffic is a lot worse than it was. Like, I visited Seattle five years ago, and I heard it's only getting worse. Because I love taking the bus. I was like, I don't want a car if I move here. I got the bus. I hate, I just hate the risk of driving. It's too risky. Like, you can die from driving if you have really shit luck. Some, like, ass idiot driver. 20 deliveries is pretty good. Oh yeah. I would do between 20 and 30 deliveries a night. It's such an easy job. And my boss is awesome. Like, never yelled ever. And just, like, 
gave customers whatever they wanted, and we just like, yeah, our job sucks, but whatever. It's restaurant work. So I'm taking a big risk by not getting that E tank. Ah, shit. Hopefully I don't lose too much time. It's low stress until, like, you do it for too many years and you start getting road rage. After about the third year, I just started developing road rage. And, like, man, I gotta move on to something else eventually. some people that have done it for over 10 years, and I know the money used to be a lot better. When you, um, yeah, I just know the money used to be a lot better. The only reason we're paid $5 an hour in Florida is because we're considered mobile servers. It's some loophole they, the, co the corporate companies try to do. Zero kids and mortgage, so why not? Yeah. I'm married, so I have to like. I'm going back to college soon. So I gotta take things a little more seriously. Yep, mobile servers. Isn't that stupid? It's a loophole. You know, Papa John's an asshole, the guy who runs the company. Anything to make his $10 million mansion bigger. And add another car to his collection. It worked for him as well. It's a, honestly, it's not... It's better than the other companies. Because the pizza is more expensive. The pizza actually tastes good. Like, I ate that pizza every day. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure his wife doesn't call him Papa either. John Schnatter. The guy who doesn't want to pay health insurance. Never try to walk onto these platforms, you will not make it. I learned that the hard way. This is gonna suck. Yeah, that didn't suck. Insurance 401k. Paid time off. Don't have to answer the phones or make pizza. Holy shit. That's the dream pizza delivery job, man. Is it just a company policy? Like, local company policy? Or is that something the city ordinance also has as well? That's Seattle. Shit, man. That's a career right there. If my wife didn't get a job at a casino as a 